The rusted iron gates of Raven's Hollow Asylum loomed before Samantha Ray, a foreboding sentinel silhouetted against the storm-tossed sky. Thunder rumbled in the distance as she stepped from her car, the wind whipping tendrils of raven hair across her pale face. This was the last place she wanted to be. The place that had haunted her dreams since childhood, when her mother, the brilliant but troubled Dr. Evelyn Ray, had spirited her away in the night, fleeing some unspoken horror. Samantha had been too young then to understand the hushed arguments, the furtive tears, the stacks of patient files her mother poured over late into the night. Too innocent to comprehend the guilt that had driven Evelyn to take her own life just days after their escape, leaving Samantha alone with a cryptic note and a lifetime of unanswered questions. Questions that had finally led her here, to the crumbling Gothic asylum where her mother's secrets lay buried. Where Samantha's own future as a psychologist, carrying on Evelyn's legacy, was about to begin. Stealing herself, Samantha strode toward the weathered doors, her heels clicking on damp cobblestones. But as her fingers closed around the rusted handle, an icy tendril snaked down her spine. She wasn't alone. Slowly, heartbeat thrumming in her ears, she turned. There, in the mist-shrouded garden, stood a figure. Tall and still as a sepulcher, a dark coat billowing in the wind. Then the figure turned, and Samantha forgot how to breathe. Even obscured by shadow and distance, she knew that face had traced its lines in faded photographs a thousand times, hunger for answers warring with trepidation. Mom! The word left her lips in a shaking whisper. A prayer and a plea. As if in answer, lightning split the sky, illuminating the haunted grounds, the skeletal trees, and the space where her mother had stood a moment before. Now empty, as if Samantha had simply imagined her. A ghost conjured by a guilty conscience. Unnerved, Samantha pushed the heavy door open, hinges groaning in protest. Darkness yawned beyond, beckoning. Along with the knowledge, bone deep and inexorable, that the answers she sought lay in the shadows of this bleak asylum. Along with the secrets her mother had died to protect. Secrets someone, or something, would kill to keep buried. With a fortifying breath, Samantha crossed the threshold into the waiting dark unaware that eyes watched her from the gloom. Hungry. Possessive. Whispers in the dark. A siren song she was powerless to resist, even as it led her into the abyss. The halls of Raven's Hollow Asylum stretched before Samantha, a seemingly endless labyrinth of peeling paint and flickering fluorescent lights. The air hung heavy with the mingled scents of antiseptic and decay, a cloying perfume that clung to the back of her throat. At the end of the corridor, a door stood slightly ajar, spilling a wedge of sallow light onto the cracked linoleum. Heart in her throat, Samantha approached, one hand trailing along the wall as if to steady herself against the tide of unease rising in her chest. She paused on the threshold, stealing herself, then pushed the door wide. The office beyond was a time capsule, untouched since the day her mother had fled over two decades ago. Bookshelves lined the walls, crammed with leather-bound volumes and yellowing medical journals. A mahogany desk dominated the center of the room, its surface a jumble of papers and forgotten coffee mugs, a fine layer of dust blanketing it all like ash. And there, perched on the edge of the desk, was a single framed photograph. A younger version of Evelyn Ray stared back at Samantha, chestnut hair pulled into a sleek chignon, white lab coat pristine. But it was her eyes that made Samantha's breath catch, honey brown and haunted, hinting at secrets and sorrows simmering beneath the polished surface. The same eyes that looked back at Samantha from her own reflection. Blinking back sudden tears, she reached for the photograph, fingertips grazing the cool glass lawn. You must be Dr. Ray. Samantha jolted, the picture slipping from her grasp to clatter against the desk. She spun to see a rail-thin man filling the doorway, his salt-and-pepper hair stark against sallow skin. I'm, I'm sorry, she stammered, heart racing. I didn't hear you come in. The man stepped forward, hand outstretched. Dr. Malcolm Gideon, acting director of Raven's Hollow. His smile was a razor slash, all edges and no warmth. Your reputation precedes you. Samantha took his hand, suppressing a shiver at the clammy touch. 
I wasn't aware I had a reputation. Your mother casts a long shadow here. Dr. Gideon's gaze flicked to the fallen photograph, then back to her face, searching, assessing. We have high hopes for you, Dr. Ray. High hopes indeed. He gestured for her to follow, leading her out of Evelyn's abandoned sanctum and into the gloom of the corridor. I trust you're ready to begin your duties? We've assigned you to our most challenging ward. Samantha fell into step beside him, the unease in her gut solidifying into something harder. Sharpa? Challenging how? Dr. Gideon glanced at her sidelong, a flicker of something inscrutable in his watery blue eyes. Let's just say the patient's has there are a breed apart. Resistant to conventional treatment? He paused before a set of reinforced steel doors. The words, Ward D stenciled across them in faded block letters. The methods employed by your predecessor were unorthodox, to say the least. Samantha's pulse pounded in her ears, a sickening suspicion taking root. My predecessor? Why, your mother, of course. Dr. Gideon smiled thinly as he keyed in the access code, the lock disengaging with a heavy clank. You have rather large shoes to fill, I'm afraid. The doors swung open, and Samantha stepped into a nightmare. Ward D stretched before her, a cavernous space lined with reinforced cells, each one sealed with a clear plexiglass front. But it was the eyes that arrested her. Dozens of them, staring out from haggard faces contorted in varying rictuses of madness. Eyes that tracked her every move, glinting with a feral sort of hunger. Hands slapped against the unyielding barriers, nails scrabbling in frenzy. Howls of rage and anguish buffeted her from all sides a cacophony of torment that sent icy fingers dancing up her spine. And there, at the end of the ward, a cell stood apart from the rest. A cell with walls of mirrored glass, reflecting the chaos around it like a dark prism. A cell that drew Samantha forward as inexorably as a lodestone, dread and curiosity warring beneath her skin. Dr. Gideon's voice floated to her, as if from a great distance, barely audible over the din. You'll want to be careful with that one, Dr. Ray. But Samantha scarcely heard him. So entranced was she by the figure that resolved from the shadows as she drew closer. A man, tall and lean, with raven hair that brushed his collar and eyes the color of a winter sky. Eyes that seemed to pierce her very soul, glittering with secrets and sorrows of his own. She came to a stop before the cell, heart a hummingbird beat in her throat. The man within pressed a palm to the glass, long fingers splayed. A gesture that felt somehow, knowing. Intimate, Oh, Samantha Ray. His voice was a deep, velvet murmur, rolling over her like a physical caress. I've been waiting for you. Samantha swallowed hard, fighting the pull of those fathomless eyes. How do you know my name? The corner of his mouth ticked up, a ghost of a smile. I know everything about you. The daughter of Evelyn Ray come to unearth her mother's darkest secrets. He leaned closer, breath fogging the glass. There are whispers in these halls, Samantha. Whispers that speak your name. That speak your destiny. Samantha recoiled, a frisson of fear spidering down her back. Who are you? Those piercing eyes held hers, a maelstrom of emotions swirling in their depths. My name is Dominic. And like you, I am a prisoner here. His gaze flicked pointedly to the madness around them. A pawn in a game I never agreed to play. Dr. Gideon stepped up beside her, face a mask of thunderous disapproval. That's enough, Dominic. His fingers closed around Samantha's elbow, a vice grip steering her back toward the entrance. Dr. Ray has more important matters to attend to. But Dominic's parting words followed Samantha as she was ushered from the ward, echoing in the hollows of her mind. Remember, Samantha, the truth lies in the shadows, and it will find you one way or another. As the reinforced doors of Ward D clanged shut behind her, sealing her off from those haunting eyes and cryptic warnings, Samantha couldn't shake the feeling that she'd just stepped into a waking dream. A living nightmare from which there might be no escape, save to follow the whispers in the dark to their inevitable conclusion. No matter how deep into the abyss they led her. In the days that followed, 
Samantha threw herself into her work at Raven's Hollow, determined to unravel the tangled web of secrets that shrouded the asylum. She pored over patient files, combed through dusty archives, and interviewed staff members, searching for any scrap of information that might shed light on her mother's fateful tenure. But everywhere she turned, she found only dead ends and deeper mysteries. Records were missing or redacted, employees tight-lipped and evasive. And always, always, the specter of Dominic haunted her thoughts. His piercing gaze, his cryptic warnings, the inexplicable pull she felt toward him. It was maddening, infuriating. And yet, Samantha couldn't shake the feeling that he held the key to unlocking the truth about her mother and herself. Late one night, hunched over a stack of yellowed medical journals in Evelyn's abandoned office, Samantha felt the hairs on the back of her neck prickle. A sudden chill streaked down her spine like the icy caress of unseen fingers. Slowly, heart pounding, she raised her head. There, in the corner of the room, stood a figure, translucent and ethereal, like a heat shimmer given form. As Samantha watched, transfixed, the apparition solidified, features sharpening into familiar planes and angles. Mom? The word left her lips in a shaking whisper, echoing in the sepulchral silence. Evelyn Ray smiled a sad, wistful twist of her lips. My darling girl, I knew you'd find your way here eventually. Samantha shot to her feet, scattering papers in her wake. How, how is this possible? There are more things in heaven and earth, Samantha, than are dreamt of in your philosophy. Evelyn drifted closer, pale hand outstretched. Secrets dwell within these walls. Dark truths that must be brought to light, no matter the cost. Samantha shook her head, tears stinging her eyes. I don't understand. What secrets? What did you do? Pain flickered across Evelyn's translucent features. I tried to help them, Samantha. The lost soul society had discarded, deemed beyond saving. She looked away, gaze distant. But in my hubris, my zeal to push the boundaries of the mind, I went too far. Open doors that were never meant to be opened. A shudder rippled through her ghostly form. The experiments. They changed the patients. Unleashed something in them, something, other. Evelyn met Samantha's gaze once more, spectral eyes pleading. You must stop what I started, Samantha. Restore the balance. Before it's too late. How? Samantha's voice cracked, desperation clawing at her throat. Tell me what to do. But Evelyn was already fading, her edges blurring into mist. Trust yourself, my love. And trust your heart. Her final words lingered on the cusp of audibility, more sensation than sound. Remember? The truth lies in the shadows? Then she was gone, leaving Samantha alone once more. Alone. And more determined than ever to drag the asylum's secrets, kicking and screaming into the light. The next day, Samantha found herself drawn inexorably back to Ward D, back to the mirrored cell at the end of the corridor, back to Dominic. He was waiting for her, a knowing glint in his winter sky eyes as she approached. You saw her, didn't you? Samantha recoiled, shock rippling through her. How did you... I told you, Samantha. The whispers speak your name. Dominic pressed his palm to the glass, long fingers splayed. An invitation. They speak of your destiny, intertwined with mine. Heart pounding. Samantha mirrored his gesture, the glass cool and unyielding beneath her skin. I don't believe in destiny. Belief is irrelevant. Some truths are woven into the very fabric of reality, immutable and inescapable. Dominic's gaze bored into hers, stripping her bare. Your mother's experiments. They were only the beginning, the gateway to something far more profound, something that could change the world if properly harnessed. Samantha swallowed hard, caught in the thrall of those fathomless eyes. What are you saying? Dominic leaned closer, breath fogging the glass. I'm saying your mother discovered the key to unlocking the human mind's true potential. The psychic gifts that lie dormant in us all, suppressed by eons of evolution and societal conditioning. 
His voice dropped to a husky murmur, intimate and enticing. Gifts I can help you unleash, if you're brave enough to embrace your birthright. Samantha's heart stuttered, torn between longings she dared not name. Why me? Why now? Because you are the only one who can finish what Evelyn started. The only one with the strength, the vision, to see it through. Dominic's fingers curled against the glass, a hair's breadth from her own. Join me, Samantha. Help me complete your mother's work, and together we can shape a new reality. A better world, where the boundaries of the mind are limited only by the depths of our imagination. It was madness. It was folly. And yet, gazing into those compelling eyes, feeling the magnetic pull of his presence, Samantha felt something kindle deep within her. A spark of recognition, of shared purpose, that defied logic or reason. She opened her mouth to respond, teetering on the knife's edge of temptation, and froze as a blood-curdling scream rent the air. A scream of purest, starkest terror, echoing from the bowels of the asylum. Dominic's eyes flashed, a feral glint in their wintry depths. It begins, he breathed, a dark exultation in his voice. The unraveling of the veil, the dawning of a new age. He fixed Samantha with a gaze that seared her to the marrow, branding her very soul. You must choose, Samantha Ray. Embrace your destiny, or be consumed by it. Then he was gone, melting into the shadows of his cell like a wraith. Leaving Samantha alone, heart pounding and mind reeling. As all around her, Raven's Hollow began to descend into chaos. The screams were coming faster now, a rising cacophony of horror and madness. And beneath it all, a sibilant whisper, threading through the discordant symphony like a poisoned lullaby. Samantha, Samantha, the shadows are calling. With a final wrenching glance at Dominic's empty cell, Samantha turned and ran, plunging headlong into the gathering darkness. Toward the screams, toward the whispers, toward the truth that awaited her, in the writhing heart of the nightmare that was Raven's Hollow Asylum. Samantha raced through the labyrinthine halls of Raven's Hollow, the screams rising in a deafening crescendo all around her. Patients slammed against the plexiglass walls of their cells, eyes wild, and mouths contorted in rictuses of primal terror. Orderlies and nurses scattered like leaves before a gale, their faces ashen and their hands trembling. And always, always, the whispers slithered at the edges of her consciousness, insidious tendrils burrowing into her very thoughts. Samantha, Samantha, embrace the shadows, embrace your truth. She burst into the central atrium and stumbled to a halt, horror, stealing the breath from her lungs. Chaos reigned. Patients roamed free, their ravings echoing off the vaulted ceiling in a discordant symphony of madness. Staff members cowered in corners, their uniforms torn and their eyes haunted. And there, in the center of it all, stood Dr. Gideon, his face a mask of smug triumph. Ah, Dr. Ray, just in time for the grand unveiling. He spread his arms wide, encompassing the pandemonium that swirled around him. Behold, the fruits of your mother's labors. The dawning of a new era in human evolution. Samantha shook her head, revulsion and disbelief warring within her. You're insane. This isn't evolution, it's... it's an abomination. Dr. Gideon tutted, shaking his head in mock disappointment. Still so limited in your thinking, even after all you've seen. He began to circle her, a predator toying with its prey. Your mother understood in the end. She saw the potential in these gifted individuals, the power locked within their fractured minds. He leaned in close, his breath hot against her ear. Power I can help you harness if you'll only open yourself to the possibilities. Samantha recoiled, heart pounding. I'll never join you in this madness. Madness? Dr. Gideon laughed. A harsh, grating sound. Oh, my dear girl. Madness is simply a label we affix to that which we cannot comprehend. His gaze sharpened, boring into her with laser intensity. But you, Samantha, you have the capacity to comprehend. 
to transcend, to ascend to your rightful place as mistress of a brave new world. Samantha opened her mouth to retort, but the words died on her tongue as a sudden eerie hush fell over the atrium. The patients ceased their ravings, the staff their whimperings. All eyes turned, as one, to the figure emerging from the shadows at the far end of the room. Dominic Dottain. But not the Dominic she knew. Gone was the cool, enigmatic detachment, the carefully cultivated air of mystery. In its place was a raw, crackling energy, a charisma that seemed to warp the very air around him. He strode forward, the crowd parting before him like the Red Sea before Moses. His gaze found Samantha's, held it, a searing connection that set her blood aflame. Samantha. Dot. Her name on his lips was a caress, a invocation. The time has come to shed the shackles of your doubt, your fear, to embrace your destiny and mine. He extended a hand, pale fingers beckoning. Join me, and together we will lead this benighted world into a new dawn. A dawn of wonder, of revelation, of rapture. Samantha's heart raced, torn between the seductive pull of his words and the screaming warnings of her rant. She looked to Dr. Gideon, saw the avid hunger in his gaze, the barely leshed madness. Then back to Dominic, to the swirling depths of his winter sky eyes. Eyes that promised knowledge, power, a union of souls on a level she'd never dared imagine. I... The word caught in her throat, tremulous and uncertain. She swallowed hard, trying again. I don't. Dominic's hand remained outstretched, patient and implacable. This is the path you were born to walk, Samantha. The path your mother set you upon, all those years ago. His voice lowered, intimate and compelling. You feel it, don't you? The pull of your own potential, straining against the confines of your mortal flesh? Samantha's breath came faster, shallower. Yes, God help her, she did feel it. A rising tide of something, swelling in her chest. A pressure, building behind her eyes, begging for release. She took a step forward, then another. Dominic's fingers closed around hers, searing her skin like a brand. She gasped, the contact igniting a firestorm of sensation that raced along her nerves, setting every cell alight. The whispers inside her mind rose to a fever pitch, a throbbing, pulsing chant. Yes, s, s, embrace your power, embrace your birthright. And embrace it she did. With a shuddering cry, Samantha flung herself into Dominic's arms, into the searing crucible of his embrace. His lips found hers, hungry and demanding, and she yielded with a moan, sinking into the dark rapture of his kiss. Around them, the atrium erupted in a maelstrom of swirling energies, of howling winds and crashing thunder. Reality itself seemed to buckle and warp, the boundaries between possible and impossible blurring into irrelevance. And at the center of it all, Samantha and Dominic entwined in an unholy union of flesh and spirit. Two become one, a single, incandescent being of pure, unfettered potential. Dr. Gideon fell to his knees, eyes wide with ecstatic reverence. The prophecy, he breathed, voice trembling with awe. The prophecy is fulfilled. But Samantha scarcely heard him, lost as she was in the vortex of power that swelled within and without, lost in the dark bliss of Dominic's touch, his taste, the searing fusion of their very souls, lost and found in the shadow realm of her own awakening, an awakening that would reshape the very fabric of existence, one fractured mind at a time. Darkness claimed her then, a velvet tide sweeping her under. But not before a final, exultant thought crystallized in her psyche, shining like a blackest diamond. At long last, Samantha Ray had come home. To the ashen ruins of her past, and the twisted glory of her future. A future where the inmates ruled the asylum, and madness was the only true sanity. Samantha awoke to a world transformed, her senses alight with a newfound clarity. Colors bled into one another, creating kaleidoscopic patterns of dizzying beauty. 
sounds took on a crystalline quality, each whisper and sigh a symphony unto itself. And the minds around her, oh, the minds. They shimmered like constellations in the velvet darkness, each one a galaxy of hopes, dreams, and fears. With a mere thought, Samantha could plunge into their depths, navigating the labyrinthine pathways of memory and desire. It was exhilarating. Terrifying. Addictive. Beside her, Dominic stirred, his presence a searing brand against her psyche. Magnificent, isn't it? He murmured, trailing a finger down the curve of her cheek. The unfettered power of the awakened mind. Samantha leaned into his touch, shivering at the electric thrill that raced along her nerves. I never imagined, never dreamed such things were possible. And yet, here we are. Dominic's smile was a slash of white in the gloom, sharp and feral. Poised on the brink of a new world order, where the gifted reign supreme and the mundane masses kneel at our feet. He rose fluidly, the dark fabric of his robes clinging lovingly to the hard planes of his body. Samantha followed suit, feeling the silk and velvet of her own confection slide sinuously over her skin. When had their clothing changed? She couldn't recall, but it felt fitting, somehow, to shed the trappings of her old life. The old Samantha. Together they walked the echoing halls of Raven's Hollow. No of the Oniro's Institute as it would henceforth be known. Their footsteps rang with purpose on the polished flagstones, a staccato beat that thrummed in time with the whispers that danced at the edges of perception. Around them, the asylum had been transformed. Gone were the stark white walls and harsh fluorescence. In their place rose swooping arches of black stone, twined with luminous strands of silver that pulsed in arcane patterns. Shadowy alcoves housed towering statues of obsidian, their features twisted into rictuses of rapture and horror. And everywhere, the awakened. They wandered the corridors with lambent eyes and ecstatic smiles, their minds a whirl with newfound knowledge and power. Orderlies and nurses, patients and doctors, the old distinctions had fallen away, rendered meaningless in this brave new world. At Samantha's side, Dominic surveyed his domain with a king's proud mien. Phase one of our grand endeavor is complete, he mused, his voice a dark honey rumble. Raven's Hollow has been reborn, a crucible for the expansion of human potential. He turned to face her, eyes alight with fervor. But this is only the beginning, my love. The world beyond these walls lies sleeping, mired in the muck of its own ignorance and fear. A slow smile curved his lips, equal parts, seduction, and malice. It falls to us to wake them, to spread the gift of the Oniro's Institute far and wide, until all of humanity basks in the cold fire of true enlightenment. Samantha's heart raced, caught up in the sweeping tide of his vision. Yes, this was her purpose, her calling. To stand at Dominic's side to blaze a trail of dark wonder across the face of a benighted world. And yet, a flicker of unease stirred in the depths of her psyche. A nagging whisper, a tattered remnant of the woman she had once been. It gibbered of danger, of madness, of a line that must not be crossed, lest all be lost. She pushed it down, buried it beneath the intoxicating surge of her newfound power. That whisper was weakness a product of the old, unenlightened Samantha. She had no place in this shadowed utopia, this asylum of the mind unbound. The world would bow before the might of the awakened, and Samantha would be their queen, resplendent in her dark majesty. And yet, the whisper persisted, worming its way through the cracks in her iron certainty. It spoke of her mother, of the secrets that had driven her to madness and despair of the terrible price that came with the untrammeled pursuit of power. Samantha shook her head, trying to dislodge the unwelcome voice. But it only grew louder, more insistent. It took on a familiar cadence, a beloved timbre from the mists of memory. Samantha, her mother's voice, aching with sorrow and regret. My dearest daughter, you must listen. The path you walk leads only to ruin, to the annihilation of all that makes us human. Tears stung Samantha's eyes, blurring her vision. 
Mom? Is it really you? A ghostly hand brushed her cheek, gossamer light. I failed you, my love. Failed to protect you from the darkness that consumed me. Evelyn's spectral form shimmered into view, her face a mask of anguish. But it's not too late. You can still turn back, still choose the light. Samantha shook her head, torn between the siren song of power and the plaintive cry of her own humanity. I... I don't know if I can. I've come so far, changed so much. You are stronger than you know, Samantha Ray. Her mother's smile was sad, but proud. Stronger than the darkness, stronger than your own fear. She began to fade, her form dissolving into motes of shimmering light. Remember who you are, my darling? Remember? And come back to me. With a final luminous flare, Evelyn vanished, leaving Samantha bereft and shaken. Dominic's hand on her arm made her start, his touch suddenly clammy and alien. Samantha, are you well? His voice was honey over razors, seductive and threatening in equal measure. She looked up at him, really looked, and saw the madness swirling in the wintry depths of his eyes. Saw the twisted hunger, the ruthless ambition, the utter disregard for anything save his own aggrandizement. And in that moment, the final scales fell from her eyes. The last chains of his influence shattered, falling away like rusted shackles. No, she whispered, wrenching her arm from his grasp. No, I'm not well. And neither is this place, this perversion of all that is right and good. Dominic's face contorted, a snarl of thwarted rage. You would turn your back on our destiny. On the glorious future? we could build together? A future built on the subjugation of the innocent? On the ashes of our own humanity? Samantha shook her head, resolve crystallizing in her heart. That's not glory, Dominic. It's damnation. She reached deep within herself, tapping the wellspring of power that pulsed at her core. But not the dark, seductive energy he had awoken in her. No, this was a cleaner, purer force shining like a beacon in the shadowed recesses of her soul. The light of hope, of compassion, of love. It burst from her in a blinding wave, searing the darkness from every corner of Raven's Hollow. The awakened cried out, hands flying to shield their eyes as the malevolent energy that had sustained them was ripped away, leaving only confusion and dawning horror in its wake. And, uh, Dominic? Dominic screamed, an unholy sound of rage and despair. He lunged for her, hands hooked into talons, but the searing light drove him back, sending him crashing to his knees. This isn't over, he hissed, eyes blazing with infernal light. You can't escape your destiny, Samantha. Sooner or later, the darkness will claim you once again. But Samantha just smiled, a gentle, radiant thing. You're wrong, Dominic. The darkness has no claim on me. Not anymore. She turned, the faces of the patients and staff shining with tentative hope as they emerged from the shadows. I know who I am now. Dr. Samantha Ray, guardian of the lost and broken. A light in the darkness, a beacon of hope for all who have strayed from the path. Her gaze swept the transformed halls of Raven's Hollow, seeing not an asylum of twisted horror, but a sanctuary of healing and redemption. This is my destiny, to guide the lost home, one fractured mind at a time. And with that, she strode forward into the waiting light, leaving the shadows of the past behind. But as she crossed the threshold, a final whisper brushed her mind, a promise and a warning twined as one. I'll be waiting in the dark, my love. Waiting, for you. Dominic's laughter echoed in her thoughts, an unhinged peal of malevolent glee. A reminder that evil endured, that the battle for the soul of Raven's Hollow, and her own, was far from over. But for now, in this moment of hard-won grace, Samantha let the light embrace her. Let it fill her, mending the fractured places, driving back the whispering dark. And in the radiant hush of her own reclaimed humanity, she knew, with a bone-deep certainty, Come what darkness may, she would never stop fighting. Never stop hoping. For in the end, it was not power that would save the world. But love. 
and the unquenchable light of the human spirit.